BGCL, and I'm here with my guest, Katie. Katie, if you don't mind introducing yourself. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Katie. Um, I'm an old friend of Arno's, and uh, I am a project manager for a small construction company, um, and I'm excited to talk to you. Awesome. Um, so you already kind of answered this, but what do you do for a living? What does a project manager do? So I organize um, all the projects that we take on. Um, our company deals mainly with uh, municipal infrastructure. So that's things like water mains, um, storm drainage and sanitary sewers, um, and then all the concrete and road works that go along with that. Awesome. And why did you originally get into this? Um, so I took engineering in school and um, had hoped to go back into the oil and gas industry when I graduated. Um, however, it wasn't a good time to get a job in that industry. So I did a little bit of a pivot and ended up uh, getting a job with a small construction firm. Um, I didn't have any experience in it before, but uh, I learned as I went and it's been a good experience so far. Cool. And what does the day to day look like? Um, so depending on where we are with different projects, um, we start off with finding jobs to bid on um, and then I'll go through and estimate the resources we need and the schedule uh, to complete those projects um, and organize everything from equipment, um, materials and the guys that we'll need on site to complete the work. Um, and then moving on, we when we start a project, I do everything from permitting um, to organizing materials we'll need on site um, and mobilizing our crews and equipment to the job location. Um, I do deal with safety on site um, and communicating with our clients and our subcontractors to get everything um, organized on budget and on schedule. It sounds like you need to know a whole lot in order to do this. It's a lot of knowledge and moving parts, it sounds like. What type of training or schooling did you need in order to do this? Um, so I took an engineering degree, uh, which has provided me a really strong technical background. Um, other education would be like technical degrees from a college. Um, learning trades and being an apprentice would be a really great background for this. Um, you could also start off um, as a laborer and in the field um, and learn really valuable experience from that and then you know demonstrate your uh, interest in management to your company and hopefully they could uh, help you grow into that, that so, position. Totally. Um, so there's a few different paths you can take to get into the role of being a project manager. Yeah definitely. Awesome. Um, so you touched on this but how do you go about getting a job in the field. Is there any sort of tried and true advice as far as getting a job in the field here? Um, I would just network with uh, your connections and if you know people who are working in the industry, make sure to reach out to them and see if they know anyone who is hiring. Um, other than that, just apply online and um, you know, see, see if that gets you in. Totally. Um, so what are, the, what are some of the challenges that you've faced in this field? Right. Um, so um, being organized and being able to communicate are the, the two biggest keys to being successful in a role like this. Um, just learning from your subcontractors and from the people who have lots of experience um, in this, in the different roles. Um, for example, my pavers and asphalt companies have been really, really helpful for me to learn from them. Um, and if you can trust your subcontractors and build relationships with the people you communicate with, then it makes going to work every day pretty fun and you can do a lot better with your projects. Awesome. Um, do you have any advice or tips for youth who are interested in going into project management or going into uh, sort of that industry in general? Yeah, for sure. So I would focus on um, what parts of the industry you want to get into. Um, say if you wanted to go into electrical construction, you could go and um, get an electrical um, diploma or start an apprenticeship with an electrical company. Um, and I think just going out into the field and learning what it takes to put a project like this together is the best first step. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time, Katie. I really appreciate this. Um, and I'm sure the youth that are watching appreciate it as well. Uh, thank you very much. Awesome. Thanks, Arno.
You're welcome. Uh, if any of you have any questions for Katie, feel free to submit them on our website and I will forward them to her. Uh, or if we have like an overwhelming amount of questions, then uh, we'll see if maybe she's into doing a separate Zoom session. Otherwise, uh, we will be posting videos all week. Uh, so stay tuned. We have lots of interesting careers coming up. Thank you.